for defense, and three for offense. First up, for defense, you put your bed in a bag. You can buy these mattress and box spring encasements off Amazon, and once you zip them around your bed, basically seal in any bed bugs currently living inside. Just remember, they can live up to 300 days, so you can't take it off for a year. And they not only trap in any current bed bugs, but they also remove all the mattress hems and clever hiding spots they love to use. Number two, your clothes dryer. Wash and dry your clothes and sheets at least once a week. More often doesn't hurt. Importantly, you want to wash them in hot water and dry them on the highest heat setting because it's impossible for them to survive this. Number three, simplify and declutter. Simplify the room to take away any hiding spots by putting clutter into plastic bags or totes. They aren't interested in clean clothes, but dirty clothes smell nice to them, so it's good to also store those in a plastic bag or tote until you're ready to wash them. Also, move your bed away from the wall so the only way they can get on the bed is by climbing up the legs. So that's the three steps for defense, now for the offense. Number one, Vacuum. Make sure you vacuum the bedroom floor and the bed area once a week. Just be sure to empty anything you've collected into a bag and into the trash. At number two, we've got Diatomaceous Earth, which as you recall, was the superstar from our tests. You should definitely apply this around the bed, but it's especially useful in penetrating the cracks and crevices close to the bed, including around and behind power outlets. The key is applying just a light dusting like this. If you leave it in clumps, it will actually backfire and not be as effective, because they'll just navigate around it. And finally, at number three, we've got steam. A simple clothes steamer like this will do the job. And I think it's great that with all the years and money spent on creating all these synthetic pesticides, the two most effective methods for killing bed bugs are just crushed up rocks and really hot water, which are by far the two most simple and natural. Use the steamer all around your bed once a week, but if you find something you want to treat you can't steam or put in the dryer, you can put it in a bag and then put it in the freezer for three days and that will also kill them. Professor Wan said if you have a small infestation and you just notice them, then using these three defensive and offensive steps will totally take care of the problem without needing to spend money on an exterminator. However, if you've got a lot of bed bugs and you've had them for a long time, then getting professional help is probably a good idea. The 